Motherfucking Omega in the chat. Yep, in the chat. In the Fortnite chat. Let's fucking get it. All right, let's get it. All right, hold on. All right, so for quick question. Can I use the Dead Zone Silence movie? You said what? The Dead Zone Silence movie for Kid Goku? Oh no, we're not doing no non canon shit. Ah, yeah. yeah, we're not <laughs> Dude, doing. I was, gonna, I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure Goku <laughs> destroyed like not an infinite void, but it was like some dark void or some stupid shit. Yeah, we're not. Yeah, That's we're not good. using any movies. If it's not can, if it's not canon, you can't use it. Ah, play. Nah, I'm kidding. All right. <laughs> So, I got go Sakura first? easily, easily whooping Kid Goku's ass. All right. I mean, at least you're not saying Z. Because if you would have said Z, no, I would have wrote an entire oh, no, goddamn no, no. essay. No, not Z. No, Wait, actually, hold, no, no the original Z. Dragon Ball, like, from Kid Goku to Teen Goku, I think she whoops his ass. Oh, so I can use Teen Goku? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's... Wait, hold on. That's actually interesting. Hold on. Let me look this up real quick. Cause I already got her already at plant plane level, the large planetary. So okay, go. It's about to get his ass whooped. Alright, uh so I can use every arc, right? Every yeah. arc. Okay. Okay, perfect. Perfect. perfect, 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 perfect. Okay. I guess do you wanna start off or I'll start off? Um, I might as well get her out of the way. All right. Okay, so in my video, for those who's watching, I got to check out my video about Sakura. I had done a long one hour video just to see how strong she is from kid up to current. So teen Sakura is around. Hold on, let me actually look this shit. <laughs> right, let me go back to my video and look this shit up. Cause I got her somewhere like planetary. Hold on, let me see. Let's see. Where I got her at? Ooh, this is a long fucking list. Okay, so I got kid. No, not kid. Um, teen Sakura. To be continental up to moon level plus so that's like around kid goku's tier and for those who they who doesn't like how you don't understand of her scaling check out my video okay it explains every fucking thing it was a lot of calculations and shit but yep she is moon level plus at her best with her speed being sub relative sub -relative relativistic so yeah. Now for adult Sakura, this world uh, is gonna get a little bit iffy because she is likely large planetary because she shouldn't be any weaker than QB Cloak Mode One and superior to Tiniori. I think it's, that's his name, Tiniori. The one from Boruto to the last, the villain. And she can fight Shin, who can fight a suppressed Naruto in Sasuke. And her speed with power scaling should be likely faster than light. So yeah, that's her scaling. What you what you got? Alright. Obviously, uh the first two arcs are Dragon Ball. Uh it's just like a little introduction to Goku. As the story, as he sets up stuff for, for example, Z, Super, all of that shit. Uh, we can talk about some stuff, though, between those little things. So, in the 21st Budokai, there's these bunny people who come attack a village. Actually, no, I meant, like, the Pilaf Saga. There's these bunny people who came across and were, like, basically robbing everyone. And Kid Goku, with this power pole, uh, basically sent them all to the moon. And Kid Goku's power pole, like, I don't know if you know Mega, because I don't know if you watch original Dragon Ball, but like, he, like, he held on the power pole and he went to the moon in mere seconds. So take that how you will. Uh, oh, yeah. And then he came back down just like in an instant from the moon. So this shows like the power pole can 
travel fast and extend really far ranges. Uh, and Kid Goku, during the Pilaf Saga, uh, can punch Yamcha through a manga panel. Uh, oh, yeah, and then, that. yeah, you remember that. Kid Goku does have some type of little like cartoony gag type shit. In the manga, he was able to, him and Krillin were talking to the audience. Uh, in the Pilaf Saga, obviously, he, we see the first scene of uh, the Uzaro, aka Great Ip of Saiyans when they lose their natural state. They just become anything they want in a monkey. Right. And uh, this monkey was able to, I'm pretty sure, pick up the entire castle and just throw it. And uh, if we want to use statements from like uh, about the Uzaro, this thing can destroy moons. Take that as you will. Maybe even planets. I say maybe planets because I want to say uh, in an episode of Dragon Ball Z, uh, I'm not saying this goes for Kid Goku, but uh, you could say planet if you want to use this uh, where they show a scene before Frieza. Cause I think Frieza's talking about the Saiyans and it shows a bunch of Uzaro apes just destroying the planet. I don't know if they survived or not. So you could say, oh, if Kid Goku just goes Uzaro, destroys the planet. Let's just say he doesn't kill Sakura. He might kill himself instead. So you take that as you will again. Um, but in the Red Ribbon Army, that's where we kind of start heating up shit. Kid Goku's able to take missiles and uh, shit like point blank and he still runs away. I want to say this is in the manga and both anime. I don't know how they took it in the anime. He was able to dodge lasers, which uh, I calculated like a long time ago. It's easily faster than light. Uh, Kid Goku obviously destroyed the entire Red Ribbon Army. Uh, and then we got the 22nd Budokai, which if I'm correct, that's the Masiroshi shit. Okay. Uh, basically, wait, what? I said, okay. So basically, he already, you know, the Master Roshi shit destroyed the moon with the Kamehameha. Uh, for, I would like to say he was going all out, if I'm correct. So I might be wrong if I'm not. Obviously, Kid Goku easily scales with that because now we get into the King Piccolo arc. Uh, Kid Goku, um, oh, actually, no, also in the 22nd Budokai. Actually, never mind. And the King Piccolo, obviously, Piccolo, King Piccolo can destroy a city with ease. And uh, there's a couple statements. They're kind of iffy, but if you were to want to go with these iffy statements, you could say planet level by statements, but I'm pretty sure they're kind of, yeah, they're really iffy. So I'm just going to go with moon level for the purpose of being straight and consistent. Uh, he can obviously, uh, he's way superior than Master Roshi because I'm pretty sure when good Goku fought, Piccolo, even Roshi said, like, I wouldn't even stand a chance. I'd just be in the way of their fight. So, um, and then, uh, Kid Goku it basically, uh, fights with 70, how many, I forgot how many broken bones. Was it 70 something? I forgot how much it is. But he was able to fight with, like, a lot of broken bones, let's just say that. And he was able to, uh, kind of, like, punch a hole through a King Piccolo's uh, chest and the tw uh, 23rd uh, Budokai I'm pretty sure uh, do you guys know Tien I'm pretty sure you guys know Tien the character they fucking wiped out in Z uh, <laughs> they basically uh, he has the attack called the solar flare and uh, Kid Goku the second he said solar flare and unleash it Kid Goku was able to go to Master Roshi and get the glasses from him. And Tien's like, what the hell? Like, how did he, how did he avoid that? And he just basically does peace out. And Roshi's like, I didn't even see Kid Goku come up here. And this was during the solar flare. And the solar flare, if I'm correct, is faster than light. So this could be taken in. So Kid Goku probably has faster than light reaction speeds as well. And probably speed. Um... Kid Goku, uh, also in that arc, I'm pretty sure, uh, uh, yeah, and then, um, obviously, uh, at this point, he still has his Azaro form, so he could use it, and for hacks, uh, well, let's go over his hacks real quick, he does have key manipulation, but then again, uh, Chakra and key are different so probably won't work 
he has he does have enhanced senses even without key chaining goku has uh senses that allow him to locate small distant objects by tracking their smell and he can certainly clear over long distances and the tracking movements of others even in the black uh pitch black conditions by feeling vibrations in the air he has uh the nim flying nimbus uh which is you need to be pure heart to ride and Goku, well we're not talking about super goku guys Hello. uh obviously he was a way better character during this time so yep he can use the nimbus obviously he has the power pole he has power mimicry uh he can easily replicate uh replicate other key based techniques after seeing them once for example the kamehameha saw master roshi do it which master roshi did say it takes you about 50 years to learn the kamehameha and kid goku just did that in an instant uh as a saiyan obviously he goes stronger as fights go on so even near death Team Go uh, Goku in the beginning of D was stronger than Team Goku when he fought Piccolo. So yeah, that. And then Kid Goku obviously throughout his story and in the original Naruto he gets stronger after every fight. For example, uh, I want to say he lost to King Piccolo for uh, the first time. I don't know if there was both fights, but I think he lost the first fight. Obviously, Saiyans grown power after fights, so he got stronger by then. Uh, he does have obviously transformation uzaro we already talked about that you can, it's moon level you could take you could say planet level uh depends how you take it uh he has resistance to electricity uh he was able to survive pirate robots electric attack underwater he has some limited uh resistance to heat survived uh the pilaf gang's uh flamethrower attack without uh withstood a point blank jet engine thrust from uh general blue's jet and red ribbon's army weapons Due to his uh, pure heart, I also want to touch on this too. Goku is immune to the effects of the Devil Might beam from the Spike from Spike. That uh, basically, if you have any sort of like sin or evil in you, and like let's just say uh, Omega might have done something bad when he was in his teen years, and he could have used the Devil Might on Omega, that basically explodes their heart. So Kid Goku has resistance to this. Uh. Kid Goku obviously later on gets key sensing, which if you don't know what that is, uh, it's just sensing other people's key. So for example, if I were to sense Omega's key, he's probably, oh, I can sense it. He's in Canada. So that's what key sensing is. He has supernatural willpower. He is able to endure poison that takes immense will and spirit to survive. He has resistance to poison, survived after drinking uh, the water of gods. He has high pain tolerance. Can uh, He can also form uh, defensive barriers uh he also has a uh, limited resistance to harsh temperatures he trained in the room of spirit and time or hyperbolic time chamber for one month which has temperatures that rain from 40 fahrenheit to 248 fahrenheit he has pressure point strikes he has light manipulation he can uh create flashes of light via you guys want to talk about solar flare he has shockwave uh, gener uh generation he can create powerful shockwaves via key Kai Kai or Key. I don't know how that's I don't know how to say that in my Google document. Obviously Kid Goku has uh I mean I don't does Kid Goku have flight? I mean I I guess with the Nimbus. Uh for stamina, uh what you call it oh for durability, um for uh let's let's just go from starters. Uh he small building level, he was able to take punches or he was able to recover from being punched through several pillars. Uh He's a uh, large building level as Uzaro. Boa was able to like just break through the castle like nothing, like cause no scratches, no nothing. Um, large building level. At least he survived Roshi's full power Kamehameha, though it knocked him out of the. But he was able to survive the uh, Roshi's full power Kamehameha, but uh, he it just he survived it, but he just got knocked out the Uzaro form. Mm. Moon level, uh, he's basically King Piccolo, Piccolo's equal, so he, uh, he's also moon level because uh, I'm pretty sure when he was team uh, Goku, uh, he tanked hits from Piccolo, even taking one of his strongest attacks, the hyper explosive demon wave at close to point blank range. And his stamina is pretty high. Kid Goku or team, team Goku can train for days with minimal rest, and he's pulled out victories against both King Piccolo and Piccolo Jr., even, even after being down and essentially tortured by both losing the use of the, his limbs against king piccolo and then all and then all of them against piccolo jr 
So if let's just say if Sakura would have an attack that can destroy anyone's limbs, Kid Goku or Team Goku could basically just fight through it. Uh, he sustained the pain of drinking, uh, drinking the water of the gods for six hours. He does have ranged attacks. Obviously, I already explained this. Kamehameha can be ranged. The power pole could be ranged. Uh, his standard equipment, though, it's in character. He usually has the power pole and the flying numbers. Obviously, uh, he has uh, some attacks. He has the Kamehameha, the Kai Ai. This ability basically projects an invisible burst of force with Ki, which Goku can perform with his hands and even with the glare. Uh, he obviously has the solar flare, which is basically it's a faster than light, maybe faster than light plus uh, attack. Basically, just blinds your opponent. Uh, basically, he has the crazy fist, a technique that is meant to uh, confuse an opponent, in which Goku acts like a wild, frenzied dog or monkey before striking his opponent while they're caught off guard. Then he has the dragon throw. Obviously, Goku throws people. The it's not the dragon though. Let's get with it. He has the eight arm fist, uh, a technique used to counter uh, Tian Shin Shinhan's uh, four witches technique and copied from King Chapa, in which Goku moves his arm so fast that he appears to have eight of them. <laughs> this one's pretty funny. He has the rock, paper, and scissors, Goku's initial like te signature technique taught by him by his grandfather. After yelling Jan Ken, Goku follows up by either with a strong punch, rock, which is a rock, poke to the eyes, scissors, and a one open palm paper he has saying physiology basically you guys already know this it's fully shown throughout super 2 Saiyans get stronger as they fight fucking trunks i don't know how the fuck he beat the shit out of zamasu that's just how Saiyans work guys um yeah that's basically it from at least me kid goku can be moon level moon level plus faster than light to faster than light plus speeds maybe uh He's, uh, he could be planted, but once again, the statements are pretty iffy, so, if you, let's just say, if you want to debate Omega on this after, I guess you could go for it. They're kind of iffy, so, eh. Uh, and then, yeah, I basically explained the sucks, and then, yeah, that's my thing for Kid Goku. Alright, so, okay, so, um, we're gonna find out who wins this. Actually, I should go over her abilities as well. So, pretty much Sakura is a medical ninja, and she pretty much knows how all the body works. If you have a, like a physiology that's like uh, an anomaly, just like a human being, she can figure out what your weak spot is. It's just how it works. So, she has various techniques, such as, uh, you know, enhancing her strength. Because she, you know, focuses chakra within her hands and feet and has precise chakra control and releases it within the pinpoint timing, making this like cherry blossom clash and causing great damage to surroundings and to people, sending them flying with just a punch. Uh, she has the chakra scar scarpel, scapel, I think it's yes, yeah, scapel which is like a medical technique that allows her to bypass durability. And pretty much it's, it, it allows her to cut you open. She can use that if she, if she wishes as, um, as an attack or she can use that as medical assistance. Um, now she has these Croatian rebirth, which is the absolute you know, actually, the absolute peak of medical ninjutsu, and it's created by the greatest of the medical ninja, Tsune, and it was the ultimate regeneration technique. And by releasing this enormous volume of chakra stored in her forehead at once, the body cell division is forcefully stimulated by proteins, reconstructing all organs and all tissues, making up the human body. And this technique does, itself does not regenerate old cells. Instead, it pretty much creates new ones. And this technique is used by, it is used a body holds vital organs or gravely injured and they cannot bear it any longer and they will instantly restore it to be uninjured. So pretty much it's like, it gives, it pretty much gives you a form of immortality through the technique. But 
honestly, if the like if she has chakra, she can regenerate any part of her body. No matter if she's in half, no matter if you like, I don't know, you stab her in the heart or any anything like that, she'll just regenerate instantly. So that's pretty much that. Now, there's also another, which is the strength of a hundred seal. And pretty much it is the peak of chakra control. And by storing, storing vast amounts of chakra over an, an extended period of time into one specific point of their body, usually the forehead, the creator creates this seal, which manifests in the form of this, this rombrous like marking on their forehead or anywhere in their body. And once the seal is formed, the user is already impressive chakra control, allows them to perform techniques without wasting energy. And when released, the, the seal will either spread across the user's face and wrap around their entire body, and the stored chakra will then release in their body, great, greatly amplifying their medical techniques and giving them as, access to both the creation rebirth and the ninja creation rebirth 100 seals technique so pretty much this seal gives them both the this godly regeneration and this godly amount of strength all at once so yeah there's that and then there's the myth mythical palm technique and this medical ninjutsu allows the user to spread the body natural healing process by sending chakras from their hands into a wound and inflict body parts. And what this does, honestly, yes, it can pretty much be treated to both internal and external energies. But if she keeps spamming this, healing you and your cells, your cells will die and cannot you cannot regenerate anymore. And pretty much it, this technique actually stops your regeneration. It heals you so much that your cells die and you cannot regenerate anymore. So there, that is that. And that's pretty much like all of her skills. Except for the basic ninjutsu stuff that she does, like summoning and um, jutsus and stuff like that. But yeah, that will uh, be all. Does she have the I fucked Sasuke jutsu? <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh wait, she does have like a strong resistance to almost immunity to illusions and mind manipulation. Just because of her chakra control. So I don't know, it, it, it probably don't matter, but might as well just put that in there. Alright, so that kind of counters the eight arm fist technique then. Alright, that's cool. Yep. Alright, so, all right, obviously. So <laughs> and we were with these guys to fight neutral versus no 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 home universes neutral verse random fucking planet these guys can do anything they want right. uh obviously would sakura have a resistance to the solar flare uh solar flare is like light manipulation right yeah uh it's yeah, light manipulation but it's also light speed so oh if she if they use a solar flare then yeah she could get blinded for a second Okay, cause uh, I don't know if you know, but like the solar flare, it's I don't know why the solar flare has kind of been used to like last for at least like over ten seconds. So would Sakura's durability be able to handle Kid Goku? Like just throw shit at her, like a Kamehameha. Okay, if the Kamehameha is not on her durability, then no, it won't do nothing. Cause uh, cause she can regenerate. Okay. Wait, so can she regenerate from nothing? Mm, For example, been uh, the comic uh, disintegrates her. Can she just, just like magically come back from like ashes? Mm, that's a good question. Well, she does have like really good resistance against existence erasure. Like um, the black rods, when she got stabbed by the true singing ball, she resisted. She resisted it for some fucking reason. I don't know why she didn't turn to ash, but yeah, it didn't work against her. She was able to still move and stuff. And she was still able to heal. So I'm guessing maybe 
She can survive. Uh, like I, I don't know. Good. Okay. Uh, Kid Goku obviously has the power pole with him. So let's just say Kid Goku were to like stab Sakura, which I'm not saying this will kill Sakura, but like send her into space. Did, was she survive going to space? Well, Naruto and Hinata survived in space, so I'm, I don't see how she wouldn't. Okay. So, okay. What kid? So let's just say. Let me bring up the Uzaro uh, ship. Obviously, they're fighting, right? The moon appears out of some fucking, for some reason. Right. He goes to it. Would Sakura, uh, what would Sakura, would Sakura know the tail's the weak spot to kill them? Or not the kill tail, them, but like uh, to get them out that far? Uh, I don't think she has any said, like precognition or something like that. Cause you said Sakura could like find out the weaknesses of a person. So I'm guessing like- Oh um, yeah, it, yeah, it's like a, yeah, she, I guess she can study you. Cause that's her job. She's able to study the, the body and stuff like that. Since she doesn't know who the fuck Goku is or like where what he is, I'm pretty or, sure. Or yeah, she doesn't know what a Saiyan is, because obviously Saiyans don't exist in Naruto, yeah. so that'd be kind of a problem then for her, because she would be like, "Fuck, fuck, what's the weak spot? Goddamn fucking monkey!" <laughs> exactly. I don't think she was able, uh, able to. At least I don't think so. So Uzaro in character obviously destroys shit. Uh, and I was obviously Uzaro could probably destroy the planet once again if you go by those statements so let's just say and i'm pretty so let's just say uzaro destroys the planet right mm -hmm. and kid goku dies would sakura survive the planet exploding what do you mean let's just say uzaro because you know how uzaro completely is just out of control it just does anything he fucking wants let's just say it destroys the neutral earth so would sakura's uh would sakura be able to withstand that um, well, we haven't seen the, the monkey actually do that. But she will actually fight the monkey. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying, like, if we were going, because in statements, Uzaro can destroy at least planet. Well, that's the thing. Sakura got that, um, she got that planetary attack potency. So, even if, like, she, act, especially with the, um, the seal of a hundred. Yeah, that even amplifies her more of her physical durability and stuff like that so if she like punches him i'm pretty sure she was just i don't know sending him flying into space <laughs> we never seen never seen her do that but she has the attack policy to damage you a lot especially to the point where you can she can stop your generation and damage oh. you internally um mm. uh, so okay would okay so what do you call it so what if kid goku was to do an after image technique solar flare her kamehameha and then use his power pole and just send her to the fucking moon like hit the moon like on impact oh then Which, she would she would survive i don't know how she's gonna get back though <laughs> <laughs> i mean i don't know how she's gonna get back she ain't, moon, like Tama. She ain't gonna jump right back I don't know. Yeah. Maybe she can. I don't know. Never, never know. <laughs> does Sakura have some type of like teleportation that can do far distances? Like kind of how Dragon Ball does it? Like Goku oh, can teleport. Mm, I guess she can summon stuff. I don't remember teleportation. Right. Well, unless unless well, before she gets hit, she does a substitution jutsu. Yeah. And then she like up here right behind him. Like, Oop. Then what are you gonna do now? <laughs> I mean, Kid Goku and Kato be like, whoa, how's she get behind me? And just jump forward and just be like, all right, let's continue fighting. Like, <laughs> exactly. Um, <laughs> Kid Goku's a fun character to fuck with, so. Well, uh, it, that, it'd be pretty she funny. She can actually turn. cut muscles, tensions, and tissues without even affecting the skin. So, pretty much that um, Scapa told you about, if she slices you, she can just, like slice your muscles and you won't be able to use that muscle anymore so if she slices like his leg or his arm she won't be able they won't be able to use it i mean kid goku probably try to use it because again earlier i stated he lost all his like limbs and bones and bro still decided to fight fucking piccolo and king piccolo oh if that's like, the case if she, can, like, if she still oh actually no i'm pretty sure 
if you, I'm pretty sure if she does that, then I think Goku will still be able to fight. Because if you remember, uh, Goku couldn't use any of his, like, he couldn't use his arms or legs. He literally had to launch himself to headbutt Piccolo. I don't know if you remember that scene, but he had a headbutt fucking Piccolo. Oh, shit. <laughs> With his head. He didn't give a fuck if he broke his neck or anything. Bro threw himself and hit Piccolo with his head. Oh, hell no. <laughs> so every time you do that to Goku, he'll be like, Oh, no, I, I lost my arms and legs. I would just throw myself at them, because why not? It's funny. Oh and just God. fucking... And he knocked out Piccolo, I'm pretty sure, with that. But then again, Piccolo was weakened, so we can't say he can knock out a fully powered Piccolo, so... All right, so if that's the case, uh, how this fight will go? I think this fight will go with obviously Kid Goku saying, I'll fight you. Don't hold back on me. Sakura will probably be confused at first because she'll be like, you're a kid. Why, why would I bother fighting you? You're, you're not a ninja or anything. I feel, I feel for a comedic relief, Kid Goku would do a comment in my heart and she'll be like, fuck. No, now I actually have to fight this person to win. I think this can go either way. But Honestly, with those I think Sakura will outsmart him. She's way too smart. Yeah, that's true. She's smart. And she's battle. She's a battle genius. So okay. and <laughs> so she didn't know about Saiyans though. You can't just like because if we have her do research mid fight, Kiko could just fucking punches her in the face and stops the research. Well, that's the so thing. Sakura, she thinks on the fly, and she oh. analyzes you like on the spot. Like your weakness, uh, your weakness, your techniques, uh, the way you're, the way you're fighting. She could predict. She could actually predict your shit. She's not dumb. Like <laughs> she knows what she's doing. Especially see, she can knock throw those hands. Yeah, she can match his. Um, she can match his, his techniques and stuff like that. You know, his martial arts because she has martial arts too. So yeah, I see, they're both martial artists. So I'm pretty sure they would counter each other in that range. So. So, okay, so if she can tell anyone, has there ever been a time in the series where, let's just say, an alien person or an alien ninja, whoever the fuck, I don't know who the fuck it is, an alien ninja came down and she never knew the aliens and has she figured out they were an alien? Like, okay, this guy's an alien. I know how his planet species work or no, because I, how would she know if he's an alien? Like, because you said he could, she could think it'll fly. So how would you know, like she would resort to thinking he's a sand? Um, like how because of the way he fights, the way he can shoot beams, and she probably will notice his tail. She'll be like, oh, "Okay, something ain't right." I mean, not that Naruto character shoot beams, like. Oh yeah, they shoot beams, but that's because they're not aliens now. And so pretty much, she can tell. She'll be like, oh, "Okay," she's gonna think like, "Oh, he's in the Azuzuki clan or some shit," but then she's gonna see the tail. She'll be like, "Okay, that's weird," and she's gonna probably figure it out. Now, she ain't gonna figure out like he's a Saiyan, but she's gonna figure out that he's not a normal kid. Okay, so that means he, she probably wouldn't figure out the weakness then. No, she by probably that. won't. Unless it was like accidental or some shit like that. Yeah, I was just saying, if you if she probably do it on an accident, then probably she would be like, oh, okay, I'm just gonna cut your fucking tail off. You can't transform now. We're just gonna fight human, uh, Saiyan base to human base. I don't fucking know. Wait, are we using Kid Goku or Team yeah. Goku? I, I'm using, I'm combining uh, Team Goku's experience into Kid Goku, if that makes sense. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, I'm uh, okay. Me personally, I think Kid Goku should win, but uh, I don't actually, um, watch out, hold up, fuck. But I could see probably Sakura winning, probably just for better hacks. Because obviously in Dragon Ball, um, they touch in a lot about like durability, attack potency, speed and shit, but they kind of never really touch in the hacks. So like the hacks I just said right now, they're not really like, oh shit, he gets solar flare, Dr. Manhattan. No, like they're not really as impressive as to, to an extent. So I could probably see Sakura winning just because of her hacks. Because the hacks you said right now, um, like the muscle shit, I'm pretty sure Goku could just throw himself at her, but like, the other stuff, like the eternal, like, bleeding or some stupid shit, I'm pretty sure that would fuck up Go Kid Goku. Because he's never shown that type of resistance, at least in the show. I mean, unless you give him, mythical, like... mythical palm technique is pretty broken. Because <laughs> she can use it, like, 
she can use it like a short distance away. She don't have to do direct contact. She can literally just do it a short distance away. And she can pretty much overload his, like, um, his, you know, the key and stuff inside of him. I don't know how the chakra and, and key work. They, they're kind of different. But pretty much, she can literally put you in suspended animation. Like, she can literally paralyze you. And if, in fact, she could make you brain dead with this technique. So I mean, isn't Kid Goku already brain dead? <laughs> that's true. <laughs> but more even like even more brain dead. Like you can't move at all. Like you, you're like dead, but you're not dead. You wouldn't even know like how to walk. You mean? No, you, you would be trapped in your own body. You won't be able to get out because pretty much you she shut down your brain. So oh. yeah, this is kind of broken. I mean, like, um, wouldn't Kid Goku be able to dodge this? Since he said, because I'm not saying like it's oh yeah, he can like he, he can dodge like, yeah. he short range, but like then again, let's just say he uses a power pole, goes to fucking the moon, then comes back. Oh, he should come back. Then they're gonna have to throw hands. I mean, if she touches him, it's over. <laughs> like, just know that if she touches him. He's done for. So they're going. She he gonna have to parry her attacks and stuff. He can't block because if he block, it still is going to affect them. I mean, he stops lightning, so he has good reaction speed. So he I can mean, probably. He, I mean, she also something. has good reaction speed. I mean, she fought like an alien before and actually was doing a good job against him. Did he? Did she win? She didn't win because you know. <laughs> she didn't win. She got uh, her, her chakra zapped when she got you know stabbed and stuff. But Sakura, uh, I mean Sakura did a fucking good job. She was throwing some hands, she was whooping his ass. In fact, I actually she did win. Actually, yeah, she did win. She pretty much beat him on on her own. Yeah, she had a little help, but she did do the final blow. So. I mean, are those aliens as strong as Saiyans? Because you know Saiyans are fucking built to fight to death. Saiyans don't give a fuck. Like, that's the thing that makes Dragon Ball cool too. Saiyans don't give a fuck if you're stronger than them. They will fight you until they die. Actually, I like that. Is he a says, I'm about to see Shin Uchiha. Uchina? Or I don't know what I say. Me personally, I'll probably say Kid Goku, but I would agree with you. Uh, that Kid Goku probably wins four times out of ten, and I can see Sakura winning six times out of ten. If that makes sense, because because yeah, of her I fucking hat. Yeah, I can see Sakura winning one one of these fights because, like, honestly, she ain't that weak. Like as people think she is, she's not weak at all. Like people like to dog on her, saying, "Oh, man, she's trash. She's she's fodder. She's not really fodder. It's just like you got Naruto and Sasuke. They basically gods." Like compared to her, she's just a normal person, but she still can throw them damn hands against stronger opponents. So I'm saying like she can technically win against um Goku, well Kid Goku, uh Team Goku. I don't know. Like I honestly don't know. Like I don't know what he can do. He probably got a little stronger, but that's about it. I don't think he ever showed anything else oppressive. But Sakura, yeah, I'm pretty sure she can. She can whoop his ass if she put her mind into it. Now, in terms of speed, Kid Goku might have the slight edge, but only by a slight edge. Because if I if I use Sakura from the novel, then she will speed blitz the hell out of Kid Goku. I'm just saying. Because if I if I use novel Sakura, she will actually beat the dog shit out of any version of goku except for like z and super just just saying i'm just saying uh -huh. yeah i mean i don't want to say who really wins because there's gonna be a fucking fan boy debate in the comments of your video watch there's gonna be some kids gonna be like but kid goku took an infinite void or some super shit i don't oh, know oh i can hear them wankers like oh you think soccer you're a soccer tart like, oh, here we go with this shit. Like, y'all has, has not learned. Like, y'all have not learned at all. Go check out my other video. Y'all will see what I'm talking about. Not tart. 
I know what I'm right, talking so about. <laughs> at the bare minimum, at least reach planet level. What? Arto characters don't they at least reach planet level bare at minimum? At least planetary, yeah, at least or multi-planetary. You're gonna wank it if you really want to wank it. Universal. Yeah, uh, the universal shits it be. Yeah, I think it's kind of dumb. <laughs> I mean, it's well, kind of dumb. Universal. Like, I've seen a lot of universal shit. It's kind of stupid. It's dumb. No. Actually. Hold on a real second, one second. I'm about to go into the speed stuff because this shit is fucking stupid. Okay, so according to these calculations, somebody did these calculations and pretty much we have Sakura with Sasuke in this novel called, uh, it's a light novel by the way. It's called Sakura, uh, Sasuke Resuden. The Chia descendants of the heavenly and the heavenly stardust. So basically, in this, uh, they found these zodiacs or these constellations in the sky or something like that, and they have to get to point A and point B to catch up with these constellations. Now, with these calculations here, them going to travel the distance to get these to each constellation. I believe that's what it says. Cause there's 12 of them and they have to go and race through according to these calculations that will put them at massively faster than light plus mm. so pretty much sakura is keeping up with sasuke that can move this fast because they they're traveling together Mm. So yeah, the I don't, I ain't, I can't read this number. It's a lot of fucking numbers, but that is massively faster than Light Plus. So Sasuke, Sakura is this fast. If I actually would have put because this is canon, if I actually put this in here, Sakura will actually speed blitz and destroy Goku before he even shoot a Kamehameha or the Power Pole. Because the power pole, it could reach the moon within seconds, but that's nowhere near as fast as this. So, if it, if I use this, she would win like more like nine out of ten times. Oh, that, that'd be uh, for sure. We don't start seeing MFTL plus like at least into Z, bare minimum super. Exactly. It's, uh, I'm barely in the beginning of Z. Barely. No, not. <laughs> hey, I, I said like Frieza arc or Cell arc because Frieza arc got stupid shit for speed. Yeah, you know, Frieza arc definitely, but on uh, Saiyan Saga, I don't know. Like, <laughs> I don't know. Like, he's iffy on that one because they were always faster than speed of light, and they had a lot of trouble against Raditz, <laughs> a lot. So. I don't know. Maybe, maybe Sakura can. If you step it up a bit, maybe she can handle like beginning of Z, Goku, just beginning of Z, nothing more than that. Oh yeah, probably beginning of Z because beginning of Z takes place right straight fucking after uh Dragon Ball, like the original. Uh, it takes place after the King, uh, not the King Piccolo, Piccolo arc. If that's the case, then she actually win. She will win this fight. Yeah, if you're having her fight Raditz, then probably, yeah. yeah like, she can she can definitely win that. And I call her, I'm going to get a shit ton of comments like, oh, hell no, you just could bear Sokka with a Raditz. Like, listen, y'all, if she's magically faster than like Plus, how the hell is Raditz keeping up with her? Just think about that. Durability. Oh, yeah, the durability? She could just ignore it. <laughs> she could just ignore the durability. She could literally just... What, um, what was the, uh, mystical palm shut down his brain. What he gonna do? Nothing. She can kill him right there if she wanted to. And say, um, uh, Vegeta gets body too. He can get, he can get those hands. Every hands everywhere. Now, she stops having freeze arc. I admit, like, freeze arc, yeah, I'm not going anywhere beyond that. But beginning of Z, which is saying, saying saga. I'm sorry, like Sakura would take the L. I mean, L. She would take the win. Like, 
<laughs> it's not even funny. Now, if y'all want to debate me in the comments, you'll know what my Discord is. Go ahead, join, and tell me what your reasons are. But yeah. Anything else you want to say? Nah, I'm, I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> All, right. <laughs> All right. So yeah, that's be the video, guys. Let me know what you guys think about this. Oh, he wins. Kid Goku from Dragon Ball Super or Sakura. All right, who you think wins? Like, honestly, I don't know what I already know what y'all gonna say. Y'all, y'all biased as fuck. Goku wins. Yo, everybody, you be just ignoring what I'm saying, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's exactly the majority of, the, of Goku fans. They'll be like, no, Goku still wins. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's going to be the video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, you could, Would you want to say anything? Like a, a closure or something? Kid Goku, so what's your favorite verse? <laughs> that's all I have to say. Let me mean in the comments as well. I can argue Kid Goku beating all of fiction. So. Oh, yep. I agree. <laughs> All right, guys. All right. <laughs> Peace. <laughs>